Greetings, this is Susan Allen in Boston, Massachusetts, and this is the seventh week of the Paula Dean Real Women of Philadelphia Cream Cheese Contest. As you can see here, we have two tubs of cream cheese. We've gone through all two tubs as we've tested our recipes, and it's all been delicious and wonderful. And today I'm here to show you my stuffed chicken breast tied with leek ribbons. First thing you're going to do with this recipe is you want to put your sauce together. So we're going to put in two cups of chicken stock. If you like to use wine, you could add a half a cup of wine and a cup and a half of chicken stock. But anyway, you need two cups of liquid. And then I'm going to use a whole can of tomato paste, six ounce can of tomato paste. And for an aromatic flavor, we're going to add a cinnamon stick. And I'm going to check on this and kind of keep stirring it while I'm working on the rest of the recipe. So I'm going to put this on medium heat. I'm going to move this to the back burner. Next, we're going to make my stuffing for the chicken breast. I've already cooked four ounces of spinach and thoroughly dried, drained it. And then we're also going to add four ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese to my food processor. You could actually make this probably just by chopping and combining, but I find with a food processor it really gets everything kind of well combined together. And this is two ounces of prosciutto. And because you're putting this in a stuffing, you don't need the high end of prosciutto. And then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. That's freshly grated nutmeg. One of the things I use is either a nutmeg grinder or I take a, a microplane and use a whole nutmeg and grind, do that together. Now we're going to process this. Part of the reason of using the nutmeg is the two aromatics, the cinnamon and the nutmeg, really complement each other really well. And now that we've got that completely mixed together, I'm going to come back and show you how to blanch your leeks and then put the chicken breast stuffing and all together into the oven. All right, this is the stuffing with the spinach, the cream cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese, and the nutmeg and prosciutto that I had in the food processor. Now I'm going to set this aside to put in my chicken once we're ready to stuff it. Now the first thing you need to do after you've got your sauce started is have a pot of boiling water. And instead of using a toothpick to tie our stuffing and our chicken together, we're going to use blanched leek leaves. Now, one of the first things I'm going to do is cut and trim the leek end off. And then I'm going to use scissors to, once you've cut off the end, you're going to kind of peel the leek like you would uh, lettuce leaves or anything, but we're going to take each leaf off and then you're going to want to wash because there's often dirt and sand. And after you take one leaf, leaf you're going to go to the next where the piece is down and you're going to go down through and cut it in half and then wash it. And we're going to cook the whole leek and blanch it. You only blanch it in boiling water for a minute and then throw it in an ice water bath. Um, you'll probably only use three leaves, but I cook the whole thing to have some backup. Now over here I already have some leeks that have been blanched. And this is one whole leek leaf that's been blanched. As you can see that's very thick, but it also makes it very pliable. So you can use it as string to close up the chicken. So I cut them in halves. And then I cut them again. And that makes it two pieces for tying one chicken breast. Now, to make this easier, you can either buy chicken cutlets, or as I've done, I believe in the wholesale house, so I bought a chicken breast, and then I pound it between two pieces of uh, wax paper. You can either use a meat tenderizer or a hammer, or anything else to pound it then if you're not going to buy the chicken cutlets. I use a also sometimes a small iron skillet. So I have the chicken breast pounded here. We're going to 
take it out of the wax paper. And on the cutting board, I'm going to put the skin side, or the, this is uh, skinless, but it, the side that would have had the skin has like a membrane on it. And that's what you want to leave on the outside of the chicken. And now we're going to add a quarter cup of our stuffing mixture here. You're going to put that in the center. And then you're going to roll up your chicken breast. And bring all the sides in. Like so. And so we have our little chicken package. And then we're going to take our leek ribbon and we're going to put it in a cross. We have one leek leaf this way and one that. And the narrower part you're going to take over and you're going to tie in a loop. And then you're going to tie this over this way and it ties into a little knot. And when we come back I'm going to finish all four pieces of my chicken breast and then I'll show you how to put it in the oven. I have finished stuffing my chicken breast and placed them in an oven proof skillet. This is great because when they come out of the oven I can finish my sauce right on top of the stove. I'm going to add the sauce that's been simmering the whole time with the tomato paste and the cinnamon. And then I'm going to cover the skillet and pop it in the oven at 375 for 20 minutes. And when we come back, dinner will be ready. These are my chicken breasts that cooked in the oven for 20 minutes at 425 degrees. I took them out, I covered them with foil, and then the pan that they had been cooking in, I left the sauce and the pan cooked for five minutes on medium-high heat. That reduced the sauce to make it extra thick. You'll notice our cinnamon stick is still in there adding flavor. So we're going to take a generous amount of the sauce. dish and place a beautiful chicken breast packet and now it's time to enjoy the wonderful cream cheese, the spinach, and the tomato sauce. This is Susan Allen wishing you a blissful journey of good food and great company.